LinkedIn, Apollo VI. Delving into the realm of Etruscan religion unlocks a tapestry of intrigue that beckons historians to explore its depths. Our understanding is primarily drawn from the annals of Roman records and the occasional trace of a deity's name etched onto an artifact. Yet, beneath this historical veil lies the captivating allure of Etruscan archaeology, a treasure trove that unveils glimpses of the grandeur residing within their sacred sanctuaries. Imagine yourself amidst the hallowed grounds of the sanctuary of Minerva, nestled within the ancient embrace of VI. Here, the vestiges of terracotta embellishments that adorn sacred precincts come to light, offering tantalizing insights into the opulence that once adorned these temples. These remnants showcase intricate roof designs and fragments of larger-than-life depictions of revered gods, their presence echoing through the ages. Amidst this symphony of history, the Apollo of VI emerges as a testament to the enigmatic fusion of cultures. A towering masterpiece, once perched atop pillars soaring to a staggering 40 feet, this statue hails from around 500 BC. Born from the crossroads of Greek artistic influences that swept the Mediterranean, the Apollo of VI distinctly wears the mantle of Etruscan identity. Notice the beguiling smile that graces many Etruscan sculptures, a trait that finds its place upon Apollo's visage. As he strides forward, a subtle smirk plays upon his lips, adding an aura of mystery to his presence. Immerse yourself in the visual spectacle of antiquity, for the Apollo of VI once donned vibrant hues that continue to captivate even today. Picture an Etruscan temple as a vibrant canvas, alive with an array of colors that ignited the senses. And within this vivid mosaic, Apollo and Hercules stand, their immortal contest unfolding over the body of a deer. Such is the captivating narrative that the Apollo of VI weaves, a tale brought to life through the lens of time, painting a vivid portrait of the past for us to relish in wonder. 9. Mars of Todi The mastery of bronze artistry achieved by the Etruscans reverberated across civilizations, with even the discerning Romans acknowledging their unparalleled skill. This admiration was made evident during the looting of Velsna, an Etruscan town, in 265 BC when the Romans laid claim to a remarkable hoard of over 2,000 bronze statues. Scattered amidst Etruscan sites are delicate bronze votive statues, exquisite tokens of devotion offered to their deities. Amidst these treasures, the Mars of Todi stands as a testament to their artistic prowess, albeit with a somewhat misleading name. This statue, not of the Roman god Mars, but rather an intricately crafted model of a soldier, is believed to have been fashioned in the late 5th century BC. Its discovery, hidden beneath stone slabs, suggests a possible ritualistic interment by its benefactors. The soldier's visage is captured with remarkable precision, adorned in customary armor, once at rest with a spear clutched in his grasp, a symbol of strength. Though bereft of its helmet, the statue remains flawlessly preserved. Intriguingly, etched upon one of the meticulously designed plates of the soldier's breastplate lies a modest inscription inscribed in the Umbrian language, employing the Etruscan script. This enigmatic script reveals the identity of the statue's recipient, Aal Trotitis. The purpose behind this creation, whether an expression of gratitude for surviving battle or a plea for protection in future endeavors, remains shrouded in the mists of time, adding to the statue's mystique. 8. Dying Adonis Intriguing echoes of eternity reverberate through the Etruscans' artistic legacy, revealing their unwavering faith in the realm beyond mortality. The whispers of their beliefs are most vividly captured in the ornate tapestries of their tombs and the intricate engravings of their sarcophagi. One remarkable exhibit within the hallowed halls of the Vatican Museum embodies this ethereal connection and Etruscan funerary masterpiece meticulously shaped from painted terracotta. At its zenith, a poignant portrayal of Adonis, forever suspended in his final moments, commands attention. Emerging from the annals of time, this work of art, dating back to the 3rd century BC, unveils the tragic tableau of Adonis, his form languidly reclined upon a bier, a wound on his left thigh still losing crimson testimony. In a poignant tribute to the realms of myth and mortality, this depiction draws upon the Greek legend of Adonis, beloved of Aphrodite, wounded grievously by the fangs of a wild boar during a fateful hunt. 
As life ebbed from his being, it was in the cradle of Aphrodite's arms that his essence melded with the earth, birthing delicate anemone blossoms, a living commemoration of his sacrifice. The presence of Adonis gracing an Etruscan sepulcher is more than an interweaving of tales from distant shores. It stands as an embodiment of the Etruscans' profound interpretation. In the wake of Adonis' demise, a narrative emerges, one of divine lament and the persistence of life beyond the threshold. Just as the petals of anemones unfold from the tapestry of his blood, so too might the Etruscans have yearned for a continuation beyond the veil of death, a sentiment etched into the very core of their existence. 7. Sarcophagus of Cyantia Nunia Tlesnesa In today's world, the solemn journey to the afterlife often involves unremarkable coffins. Yet, let's delve into the captivating world of the Etruscans, a civilization that celebrated individuality even in death. Picture this, opulent tombs where every inch echoes the essence of the departed. These were not mere sarcophagi, they were vibrant time capsules revealing lifelike scenes. Imagine an Etruscan feast frozen in eternity, with figures positioned as if savoring every moment. Amidst this gallery of exquisite artistry, one stands apart, the exquisitely preserved sarcophagus of Cyantia Nunia Tlesnesa, a woman of unparalleled grace from the 2nd century BC. Behold the craftsmanship that immortalizes Cyanti, she reclines gracefully on an elbow, delicately lifting a veil from her noble visage. In death, her elegance is unrivaled, draped in the finest of tunics and mantles. Atop her regal head rests a tiara, a crown that bespeaks her majesty. It's more than a sarcophagus, it's a testament to a life lived extravagantly. But here's where it gets truly fascinating. How do we connect with Cyanti and Nunia Tlesnesa across centuries? Deep within this remarkable sarcophagus lay a skull, a silent witness to the past. From bone to art, science and craftsmanship converge to breathe life into history. This intricate connection leaves no room for doubt. The exquisite sculpture mirrors the captivating essence of Cyanti herself, even if the artist's touch adds a hint of flattery. Unlocking the story of Cyanti and Nunia Tlesnesa takes us beyond the bounds of time. It's not just about the past, it's about embracing the art of existence. In a world where individuality reigns, the Etruscans remind us that even in the embrace of eternity, our uniqueness persists. 6. Sarcophagus of the Spouses Step into the captivating world of Etruscan history through the mesmerizing anthropoid sarcophagi, each an exquisite window into a bygone era. Unveiling the very essence of Etruscan life, these human-shaped coffins provide us with more than just a glimpse, they offer us an intimate connection to the past, allowing us to witness the intricate threads of relationships woven through time. Within the heart of Etruscan tombs, where the bonds of family endure eternally, some sarcophagi defy the boundaries of time itself. Picture this a masterpiece from the 6th century BC, the Sarcophagus of the Spouses, a celebration of marital bliss frozen in terracotta. Here lies a couple, their expressions radiating pure happiness, frozen in the midst of an eternal banquet. This terracotta marvel, crafted from four imposing pieces, once boasted vibrant hues that brought life to its very surface. Every detail, from the meticulously braided hair to the animated gestures, speaks of a couple caught in eternal conversation. As you delve deeper into history, you'll find a strikingly similar sarcophagus housed within the Louvre's hallowed halls, a testament to the enduring beauty of love across time and space. Evident in the shared features of these artful depictions, it's plausible that these sarcophagi symbolize not just specific individuals, but the universal essence of a joyous partnership, transcending the confines of individuality. Through these artful creations, the past whispers its secrets, beckoning us to uncover the untold stories of lives lived, and love that defies even the passage of centuries. 5. Tomb of the Leopards In the realm of Etruscan history, lies a captivating tale of their burial traditions, where grand necropolises stood as cities of the departed. These communal burial sites held the stories of many, and among them, a remarkable discovery awaits, a testament to the intricate artistry of the ancients. The Tomb of the Leopards, an awe-inspiring creation, takes its name from a mesmerizing depiction of two leopards poised in an eternal gaze on the tomb's ceiling. Beneath this breathtaking sight unfolds a scene of life's pleasures, 
as figures revel in a lavish banquet. Enthroned upon dining couches, a woman and a man share the company of wreaths, sumptuous food, harmonious melodies, and graceful dances. Yet, the narrative behind this vivid portrayal stirs scholarly debate. Could it unveil the secrets of Etruscan afterlife beliefs? An intriguing parallel emerges when we recall the similar postures presented on Etruscan sarcophagi. Alternatively, does this spectacle narrate a feast in honor of those who have crossed into the beyond? In the mosaic of history, not every tomb painting rests in tranquility. The provocative imagery of the tomb of whipping, for instance, shocks with its vivid portrayal of a man's firm action, juxtaposed against the backdrop of a lady's submission and a provocative tableau that defies convention. These whispers from the past beckon us to explore the enigmatic tales woven into the very fabric of the Etruscan legacy. 4. Monteleon Chariot In the realm of ancient treasures, few artifacts have defied time as remarkably as the Monteleon Chariot. Originating from the distant epoch of 530 BC, this chariot stands as a testament to the extraordinary preservation prowess of the Etruscans. Amidst the delicate dance between history and decay, the Monteleon Chariot emerges as an awe-inspiring relic that unveils the artistic genius of a bygone era. The tale of its survival unfolds like an epic saga. Entrusted to the sanctity of a tomb, it lay hidden, untouched by the sands of time until fate intervened. The land's custodian stumbled upon this ancient sepulcher, inadvertently unearthing the chariot's enigmatic beauty. A journey across centuries and civilizations led it to the prestigious halls of the Metropolitan Museum of New York, where it now resides as a tangible whisper from the past. The chariot's construction is a symphony of materials and craftsmanship. Once carved from wood and adorned with sheets of exquisite bronze, it tells the saga of Achilles, the mythical hero, as he receives celestial armor from his divine mother, Thetis. Ivory, amber, and glass inlays embellish this masterpiece, offering a glimpse into the opulence of ancient aesthetics. A meticulous study reveals that before its slumber in the tomb, the chariot bore scars of a harrowing mishap a testament to its valorous past. Imbued with resilience, it was painstakingly restored to grace the burial chamber, a silent sentinel for eternity. The Etruscans' reverence for the departed is evident, yet their reverence for the chariot's legacy is equally profound. In the modern age, as we marvel at the Monteleon chariot, we find ourselves drawn into an eternal narrative of craftsmanship, survival, and the enduring allure of history. It stands not just as a relic, but as a living testament to the ingenuity of an era long past a beacon that transcends time and beckons us to ponder the stories it holds within its meticulously crafted frame. 3. Etruscan Jewelry In the dazzling world of the Etruscans, a realm steeped in opulence and allure, their flourishing trade network stood as an enchanting gateway to not only boundless riches but also a treasure trove of exotica and masterful artisans from distant lands. This symphony of influence reverberates gracefully through the intricate tapestry of their jewelry. Gleaming in resplendent high purity gold, each piece is a testament to their unwavering commitment to craftsmanship, adorned with spellbinding complexity. These luminous creations dance with motifs that intertwine the threads of Greek sagas and the mystique of Egyptian scarabs, a harmonious blend of cultures that speaks to the Etruscans' cosmopolitan spirit. A captivating treasure trove known as the Volsi Ensemble, now gracing the hallowed halls of the Metropolitan Museum, unravels its tale from the depths of an Etruscan tomb hailing back to the 5th century BC. This anthology of opulence boasts a dazzling array of ten meticulously crafted gold jewels, each a masterpiece in its own right. A magnificent necklace, adorned with eleven glass pendants, captures the essence of elegance. Earrings, featuring the ethereal glow of rock crystal, whisper secrets of time immemorial. And a series of brooches stand as emblems of style and significance. Behold the rings, adorned with carved stones depicting gods, regal visages, and a youthful warrior bearing a sword, each gem a window into the Etruscan soul. The artistry of Etruscan jewelers knew no bounds, often weaving precious tales with exotic materials. Amber, a gem that could be meticulously carved into the most delicate of forms, embarked on an epic journey from the distant Baltic Sea in the north, to be embraced in the warm embrace of Etruscan finesse. 
this was a civilization that drew inspiration from the world, and in turn, left an indelible mark upon it a legacy that continues to sparkle through the ages. 2. Etruscan Gold Book Journey with me through the intriguing world of the Etruscans, a civilization that transcended the boundaries of northern Italy. Let your imagination wander beyond the shores, where their artifacts have gracefully found their way across the vast Mediterranean expanse and even into the enchanting realm of the Black Sea. Picture this Etruscan traders, venturing forth with treasures in hand, and Etruscan settlers, driven by the pursuit of new horizons, all contributing to the intricate tapestry of history. Yet, amidst this captivating journey, a tale unfolds that verges on the unbelievable the enchanting tale of a book. Now, let us engage in a scholarly debate, as some question whether this marvel truly aligns with the conventional definition of a book. Crafted from the lustrous embrace of six golden sheets, meticulously bound by twin rings, this enigmatic creation unfolds before us. Behold the mysteries captured within its golden embrace mermaids, priests, gallant horse riders, and ethereal harps dancing across its surface. The adornment of Etruscan inscriptions only deepens the enigma. Herein lies a question that beckons our intellect, what tales do these golden tablets narrate? Peer into the realm of ancient Greek tombs and find other golden plates, bearing texts linked to the profound Orphic cult. A belief that offers the departed an eternal existence in the afterlife, whispered through incantations and mystical teachings. And as we venture into the heart of these Etruscan engravings, the veil remains, concealing the whispers of their words. The threads of understanding weave further as we uncover a treasure trove from Pergi a collection of golden plates adorned with a bilingual dance of languages, Etruscan and Phoenician. Behold these ancient words, echoing tales of sacred gatherings, perhaps religious in essence. But beyond this, a revelation unfurls a testament to the cosmopolitan nature of the Etruscans. A civilization whose embrace extended far beyond their borders, intertwining with the rich tapestries of diverse cultures. Intrigued minds grapple with the Etruscan enigma, fueled by the fire of curiosity, seeking to decipher their messages. The journey of translation, needed by these shimmering golden guides, continues, and with each discovery, we inch closer to understanding a civilization that dared to span boundaries and immerse itself in the vibrant hues of the ancient world. 1. Chimera of Arezzo Nestled amidst the timeless beauty of Rome, the Capitoline Wolf emerges as an iconic statue that has captured the imagination of generations. This magnificent sculpture portrays a nurturing she-wolf with a maternal stance, embodying the essence of Rome's ancient origins. Yet, intriguingly, the tale behind this masterpiece holds even more fascination. The duo of Romulus and Remus, the very architects of Rome, were ingeniously added during the Renaissance era. Delve further into its history, and you'll uncover a captivating origin that traces back to the Etruscan civilization. Evidently, this emblem of Rome's past is a blend of epics and influences, a testament to the enduring artistry of the ages. While the Capitoline Wolf may have earned its place in the heart of Rome's history, it is the Chimera of Arezzo that stands as a true testament to the Etruscan legacy. A creature of both awe and fear from Greek mythology, the Chimera embodies the mastery of Etruscan craftsmanship. With the fierce countenance of a lion, the enigmatic visage of a goat, and a venomous viper for a tail, the Chimera evokes both wonder and trepidation. Its rediscovery in 1553, alongside other Etruscan votive offerings, marked a renaissance of appreciation for the Etruscan culture. A profound symbol of conquest, the Chimera's legend intertwines with the valiant tale of Bellerophon and his celestial steed, Pegasus. This extraordinary narrative breathes life into the Chimera's legacy, as heroism prevails over the monstrous. Notably, an accompanying bronze statue of Bellerophon further magnified the grandeur of the Chimera's presence. Indeed, the revelation of the Chimera sparked a resurgence of interest in the enigmatic Etruscans. Among those captivated was none other than the illustrious Duke of Tuscany, Cosimo de' Medici. In an intimate display of admiration, he devoted hours to meticulously cleanse the artifact, making the Chimera a personal emblem of his patronage. In the end, both the Capitoline Wolf and the Chimera of Arezzo illuminate the intricate tapestry of history and artistry woven through time. 
their stories echo in harmony, celebrating the ceaseless journey of civilizations and the enduring power of sculpted narratives. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. We appreciate your support. Bye.